I just wanted to make a, a quick video about the human computer interface and how I think it's going to be changing over the next couple of years. Um, and it's all based off of this simple idea. Um, the entirety of the internet, all programs and programming languages are written with humans in mind. And we've trained on this data which allows us to interact with things like LLMs in a human way. But machine code and the abilities of machines and what they can communicate is way beyond natural language. Even LLMs show they have abilities in programming and stuff like that, uh, like, like that now, look at um, GPT-01. It literally coded the shader app that you're seeing as the background of this video. Um, so I, my idea is that, okay, what's going to happen? We've got, we've got people interfacing with things, um, that are built for people, right? But they're built for people in a way that's not fully human, right? They, we still have to learn something, right? Obviously, when you're a baby, the first thing that you have to learn in order to interact with other humans is a language. And then if you inter want to interact with humans who speak another language, you have to learn that language. But you can still interact with them using body language and other types of languages, right? These are unspoken languages. And they're languages which humans currently have, but machine models like LLMs do not possess. Uh, though LLMs can speak in languages like Base64. Base64 is an encoded language, meaning it's not even necessarily a language, it's an encoding, right? So they can speak in um, encodings, uh, which involve math. So the point is, is that right now what we're doing in 2024 is saying things like, okay, we made an app that lets you make apps using LLMs. It codes the app for you and sets everything up, things like Replit, right? Um, but now with O1, it's possible to just say, okay, design me this type of an app, and if it has uh, many files or whatever, write everything into an SSH script that just outputs the entire, um, you know, all of the code of the app into the proper file structure. And with the, the context window and the ability for attention and critical thinking that O1 has, it just does it. And then, you know, things like Replit are not necessarily quite possibly going to keep up. Like, I'm sorry to say as well, because I hate to see things like that go. These are nascent technologies that live and then die. It's like this chaotic period which exists on the limit between in chaos theory, right? Um, there's this idea of limits and regularity and how that regularity breaks um, after so many times that you iterate on some limits. And, um, and it, de it determines these regimes, like there's a chaotic moment and then there's an ordered moment. Even if you look at something like a three-body problem, there's a chaotic moment and then there's a period of relative order which in which you can predict and then there's this moment where you can't predict anything and that's exactly what's happening right now in the dynamical system which is human beings and our technology and our progress our, our, our progressive space our progressive latent space so to speak is filled with this whole light whole it's infused with this um, anyway those are my thoughts on the, on that, and I think that you know in the future, uh, things like apps won't even be necessary. Things like search engines won't be necessary. You'll just be interacting with an agent, and that agent will interact with other agents in languages that they make up, whatever their version of body language is, which is the most efficient for getting some specific thing done. In fact, you can even have linguist agents who just, their whole job is to just make up new languages for other agents to interact in very specific situations um, that are custom tailored to perfectly express 
some concept which humans cannot express in, in, in human languages. Um, yeah, assembly is a very interesting, like machine code, right? Binary is an example of this. You can't directly, like you can, but it's crazy and you have to do a lot of studying, right? There's this whole thing where it's like, these interfaces and everything, all of coding, all of that, it's all just made to facilitate humans being able to speak to computers. But when we have, but the problem is, is that there's a learning curve. And as we develop more and more layers on top of this interface, the learning curve for each layer goes down. 